So you've decided to lose some weight and get healthier. That's excellent. I'm really happy for you. What I don't want to happen is for you to get confused and given the wrong information and wind up losing just a little bit of weight, then gaining it back, or just not losing any at all and giving up. In this video, I'm gonna tell you the 13, the unlucky 13 high sugar fruits that you need to avoid if you really wanna lose a meaningful amount of weight and keep it off. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician with 20 years of clinical experience and I want you to lose weight and keep it off, and you need to avoid these unlucky 13 fruits. But wait, you say, there's research that shows that eating lots of fruit helps you lose weight. I read an article in a health magazine or saw a television show all about this. Here's the problem with that. All of that research that they're quoting is observational research. It doesn't prove anything. It just so shows a possible correlation. So when somebody says that research has proven that eating lots of fruit promotes weight loss, it doesn't show that at all. It doesn't show any causation whatsoever. It shows a possible association. There's never been a single study done on the planet Earth by nutrition researchers that proves that eating lots of fruit promotes weight loss. It's just a lie. To help you understand why this is, we're gonna have a quick biochemistry lesson. And I promise it's not gonna be bad. Hang on just a second. So first, let's look at the sugar molecules contained in a jelly donut. Here they are, fructose, glucose, and sucrose. Take a good look at the chemical structure. Now I'm gonna show you the chemical structures of the fructose, glucose, and sucrose contained in fruit. Look carefully, can you spot the differences? No, that was a trick, that's the same image. So not only can you not spot the difference, but your body can't spot the difference either because they're the same exact molecule. There's no difference. And I know that there are health gurus out there that tell you that the sugar in fruit is somehow magically different, magically nutritious. I'm sorry, that's just not true. So let's go back to my jelly donut. It looked pretty good, didn't it? What if, because the argument is, oh, well, fruit has magical phytonutrients and polyphenols and, and, and antioxidants. What if I took this delicious looking jelly donut and I added some polyphenols and a few vitamins and minerals and some magical phytonutrients? Would this jelly donut then be a health food? Because this jelly donut has about the same amount of sugar as a serving of many of the fruits that I'm about to tell you about in the unlucky 13 list. You've probably already figured out that if you wanna lose weight and keep it off, you just gotta cut the sugar intake, the sugar that goes into your mouth every day. And that's true. You need to cut out the sugar that comes from jelly donuts and other crap like that, but also you gotta cut back on the sugar that comes from fruit as well if you wanna lose weight in a meaningfully rapid manner. If you are going to eat some fruit, please do it only occasionally and eat the, the entire whole raw fruit, okay? The worst way to get your fruit is from the worst of all being fruit juices, the next worst being dried fruit, and then the third worst being a fruit smoothie where you grind up the entire fruit because you're, you're still getting that magical fiber in a fruit smoothie, but you're also, you've broken up that fiber and so you're gonna have a much higher spike in your blood sugar level from a fruit smoothie, from fruit juices, or from dried fruit. So I would avoid those completely and eat an occasional serving of raw, fresh fruit, maybe in season, like nature intended. When the fruit's ripe, you have a serving of fruit. So let's dive into our unlucky 13 list of high sugar fruits. Number 13 on the list is nectarines, and peaches are about the same. They have 11.3 grams of sugar per cup, and we're gonna talk about all these fruits as a cup because that's what most of us would eat. Number 12 is apples and pears. They have about 13 grams of sugar per cup. Uh, number 11 on this list is oranges, and oranges are probably the least bad of the citrus. Uh, grapefruits are actually worse, which I'll talk about in a second. Tangerines and cuties and all these uh, genetically messed with citrus are much higher in sugar. That's why they 
tastes so sweet. But an orange has 14 grams of sugar per cup. Uh, number 10 on this list is grapes. Grapes are a terrible, terrible fruit to eat. They have 15 grams of sugar per cup. And do you just eat one cup of grapes? Because back in the day when I used to be morbidly obese, I ate more than a cup at a time. Number nine is grapefruit. And so this is a good lesson that just because something doesn't taste, taste sweet, it doesn't mean that it's not loaded with sugar. A cup of grapefruit has 15.9 grams of sugar. Number eight on this list is kiwi. I love kiwis and yes, they're full of vitamin C. What if I put some vitamin C in that jelly donut? Then would it be a health food? No. So kiwi for a one cup serving has 16.2 grams of sugar. Number seven on the list is pineapple. I know, I know it's got bromelain and all those other magical phytonutrients, but it's full of sugar. One cup's gonna have 16.3 grams of sugar. Number six on this list is cherries. Uh, yes, they have fat, magical phytonutrients, but a cup of cherries has 17.7 .7 grams of sugar. Number five on this list is bananas. Bananas are not a health food. Every health guru out there will tell you to have your bananas every day for potassium. This is terrible advice. A cup of bananas has 18.3 grams of sugar. Uh, number four on this list is tangerines. Remember I said earlier, uh, tangerines have 20.6 grams of sugar per cup. Number three on this list is mangoes. Yes, they're delicious, but one cup has 22.3 grams of sugar. Number two on this list is, is a fruit that you've heard so much magical nutrition uh, revelations about, and that's pomegranate. A cup of pomegranate seeds has 20, no, 23.8 grams of sugar. More sugar than a mango, tangerine, or a banana. So yeah, pomegranates have some vitamins and minerals, but you can get those better elsewhere. Number one on this list of the unlucky 13 is figs. Raw, fresh figs have 29.3 grams of sugar per cup. And I love figs, but I'm gonna eat more than a cup if I sit down and eat some. So that's your list of 13. If you avoid these, you are going to not only not miss out on any vitamins or minerals or anything else your body needs, because you're gonna get those from other real whole foods that I talk about in my other videos on this YouTube channel. You've gotta cut the sugar if you wanna meaningfully burn up the fat and get rid of it and keep it gone forever. If you'd like to get more videos like this where I give you the straight truth about nutrition, medicine, and health, and weight loss, please click that subscribe button and the little bell notification button right beside it. I try to post two or three new videos every week and you'll get a notification when I do. This is Dr. Barry, I'll see you next time.